There is a ton of talk in Bloomberg, Bloomberg and CNBC from many experts about the so-called AI bubble. And I know everyone is like right now nervous about, ooh, are we going to go into a correction? What about the China-US trade war? But don't worry about that. You can't think about this every day. Sometimes you have to take a step back and focus on some strategic questions. And today we are going to do exactly that. Is AI in a bubble or not? And the other day, Doomberg, some people also call it Bloomberg, published this thing and talked about, ooh, it's so complicated. Here is a circular relationship between all these people. It's incestuous. There's NVIDIA 4.5 trillion. There's OpenAI 500 billion, the two most important A core AI companies. Of course, Doomberg never mentions Tesla, which should be in the middle of this, but whatever, Doomberg, it's fine. Let's talk about OpenAI, NVIDIA and everyone else. And basically what they want to describe here is it's a total bubble, right? There's too much incestuous relationships. All these companies go up because they're buying their stuff from each other. Like OpenAI buys 10% of AMD and promises them to buy six gigawatts of chips. So AMD goes up 29% and they're already making back their investment just because the share goes up. Nvidia invests 100 billion into OpenAI and therefore also into AMD indirectly and has also the right to buy more stuff from more equity from OpenAI and so on and so forth. Core Weave and NVIDIA do incestuous stuff and OpenAI makes deals with everyone else. And even the competitors like XAI by Elon does the same type of deal with NVIDIA. And it's highly confusing NVIDIA taking shares in XAI and NVIDIA taking shares in OpenAI. What does it even mean anymore? Is this just, is this just incestuous and is it a bubble? And is it all of these revenues made up because they are mutually dependent and people just circling money through and suddenly we think there is some giant thing? That is the question. And of course, the talk is about historic precedents. And the most famous and most amazing historic precedent, the most famous of all bubbles is not the internet bubble. It is the famous tulip bubble. And I want to use the tulip bubble as a comparison to dig a little deeper into this question. Are we in an AI bubble or not? this tulip bubble. Very, very fascinating. The tulip bubble was a long time ago. It was in 1634. From December 1st to 1634 to February 5th, 1637. So it went on basically two years, 34, you know, 35, 36. So two years and three months. And the tulip bubble basically happened after the Dutch invented the stock market. And for the first time you could speculate on these things and all of Europe was all over it. And tulips were very much in demand. You can look it up. It's an amazing story there. I'm sure there are videos on YouTube just on the tulip bubble. You should watch them. It's a great, great experience and great learning about the first giant historic market bubble. These tulips were very valuable. All the kings wanted this and the aristocrats and they were trading them with boats. And basically it was all, was all about who has the most fancy tulips in their palace. And so the royals in Great Britain were jealous of the amazing Dutch, you know, and the Germans who bought all these tulip uh, bulbs. And they were like, different colors and all kinds of stuff. So hybridized and they made the super tulips and then they were worth more than a castle, a single uh, bulb. And that led to this bubble. And then people say, well, see, they were all crazy. People get carried away. People just thought these tulips are so valuable when there was no real value in the tulip other than it's beautiful, but it's very subjective. And then they hyped it up so you could actually exchange a tulip against an entire castle. And then guess what? Someone realized, wait, this is a bubble. And they lost everything and it crashed. The first giant crash. And therefore, to this day, people use the tulip mania, the tulip bubble, to talk about other bubbles. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. And so the question is, are AI chips like tulips? Are they worthless? Is it all in our heads? Is it just a bidding war between the AI companies and an incestuous equity and cash and debt exchange circle with no real value. So now I want to go into the second bubble we are going to look at today before we answer the question if AI is a bubble. And you've guessed it. Let's take a look at the internet bubble because here we have a little bit more data and it's a little bit more, you know, comparable because you had companies like Cisco, for example, which is a real company. 
And Cisco produced all kinds of hardware and routers for the internet and switches and all kinds of you know hardware stuff you need for the internet build out. And the theory in 99 was the internet will take over the world, which was a correct theory. The theory was we need to build out massive, insane amounts of this cable stuff and these routers and these switches because now 8 billion people eventually need the internet. And guess who's in the middle of it? Cisco. The same way AMD and NVIDIA today are in the middle of it with the chips for AI. That is why there is a parallel for some people. And they say, well, Cisco was the same as NVIDIA back in the days. Because Cisco had the hardware monopoly or more or less was like the number one on the hardware. And everyone knew there would be an insane build out. So Cisco will just make insane amounts of money. So let's drive the stock through the roof. And that's what they exactly did. Right here's the index level starts at 100. And basically Cisco, which was a giant company, went up nearly 10 times. 10 times in two years. That's a lot. That's like Nvidia, by the way. Okay. And then it crashed. It's very sad. It crashed all the way down. So it lost 90% of its value. But here's an interesting thing that I want you to focus on. The blue is the stock price. But what should, in a rational world, the stock price be anchored on or anchored to? It should be anchored to earnings growth. And as you see, Cisco's earnings grew and then crashed because we had an internet crash. But during the bubble, it grew. But the stock price got disconnected. The stock price grew by nearly 10x or 8x, whereas the earnings grew only by 100%. So while the stock price went up 800%, the earnings only went up 100%. So basically, the stock was completely unhinged and not tied to the earnings. And now, look at NVIDIA. Here is the index. It's, yeah, it's 100 in 2020. Index is 100. And NVIDIA went up 800 already here. Look at this. This is where Cisco went in the bubble. I mean, of course, this is more longer time, right? So let's go back here. But you see, NVIDIA went up way more than Cisco. But here's the difference. Look at NVIDIA's earnings. And now that you see this, here was a little bubble in 22 that was pre-AI, right? Pre-anyone knowing about AI in the average, you know, the average Joe, no pun intended. Didn't know much about the AI boom in 22. We knew about it right here. But look at this, or right here, 23. When you look at this, Suddenly, the whole bubble talk goes out of the window because there is not even a bubble. Well, here we got a little bubbly, right? But then it came down back here. Now we're going up. But this bubble, I mean, the earnings go up to, how, what is that? It's like 2,000%. Uh, go up that much and the price goes up 2,500%. Who cares? Like, this is not a bubble. Sure, it could go back to the mean, but this is minute, this reaction. And this is exactly the difference between the internet bubble and the AI stock price appreciation. AI, now let's take a step back. AI is the most profitable, insane boom we have ever seen in history, ever seen in history. Nothing like that on that scale has ever happened. And I'm not talking about the stock prices. I'm talking about cash, hard, cold, digital cash, because that cash comes into these companies. That's why I'm also so bullish on Tesla, by the way. It's not Tesla fantasy. The theory is, and my prediction is, that Tesla will very soon drown in billions and tens of billions and hundreds of billions in earnings and free cash flow. That's why I'm bullish. It's not fantasy. It's about RoboTaxi and Optimus unlocking immediately tens of billions in additional free cash flow. Immediately at the second where they start scaling, which could happen any time at this point, but pretty much guaranteed before the end of 2026, before, like in the next 12 months, this is going to happen. We are talking about cash flow flood of epic proportions. And with NVIDIA, it already happened. So you guys have to really focus on these things. Like bubbles look very different from this. Bubbles are crazy fantasies. People are very disciplined. They're still traumatized from the internet bubble. Investors are not that stupid. They're tying the stock price into the earnings. I give you one more example from the front lines. My favorite company, Lovable. People already ask me if I get money from Lovable because I'm promoting them like crazy. The answer is unfortunately not. I wish I had some equity in Lovable. It's a private company. I love Lovable. I use it. I'm a heavy mega user here at Pioneerlands. Go to pioneerlands.net, by the way. This is where we are building the future. So Lovable is our go-to vibe coding platform. It's a little bit more than vibe coding. It's building backends. It's building entire complex platforms. We are actually building the operating system for all the pioneers in the world the life operating system for your life, for your money, 
for your media, for your state, because we're building a state eventually. And we are building all of this on Lovable now, because now Lovable even has backends. But no equity, no sponsorship, just to full disclosure. And if you are Lovable, if you're watching, yes, I want your equity. Tell me how. It's private. It's a beautiful company in beautiful Stockholm in Sweden. Fastest growing European startup. And look at Lovable. Why am I talking about Lovable? Because Lovable is at the eye of the storm. The eye of the storm of the AGI revolution. And you have to understand companies like Lovable because they are the secret, mostly invisible to Wall Street, invisible drivers behind this whole thing. Because Lovable's key partner is OpenAI. And what does Lovable do? It built the most amazing platform where you can just say what you want, your software, your SaaS system, whatever you want, backend, frontend, design, anything. And it just does it for you. And it's tightly integrated with OpenAI. OpenAI met with them. They sent people to Stockholm, tons of workshops, and they're constantly working together to make this all happen. And now look, this chart, we are talking about here, the annual run rate of money, of cash coming into Lovable, which is a tiny little, used to be a tiny little startup. So it started in Q2 2024, had one iteration, next iteration didn't work, the first two what's called GPT engineer. And then in Q4 2024, they cracked the code, no pun intended, labeled it, rebranded it to Lovable, which I love. So in December or something last year, that's like, what, 12 months ago? It's 12 months ago. It's, it's 11 months ago. They started actually selling the product. And then within 30 days, 30 days, 30 days after launch, they made 4 million ARR. In 60 days after launch, they were at $10 million ARR. In 90 days, they were at 17 million ARR. And after four months, they were at 30 million ARR. They just hit 100 million ARR. And I tell you one thing, Lovable will hit $1 billion in ARR within the next 12 months. A billion dollars ARR. And why do I know that? Because Lovable is the, you know, one of the best manifestations of the age of AGI. It allows anyone in the world with a brain and systematic thinking capabilities in some thing they want to do to build and recode the world. You know, when Mark Andreessen said software is eating the world, well, now this is true 10,000 times over because any human with lovable can now design software to reshape the world, any piece of the world, anything. And so lovable will become Sweden's most valuable company in very short periods of time, probably in three years. I think lovable will hit 100 billion valuation very quickly. It's now at 1.8 billion or something. So it will 50x valuation guaranteed. It will be Sweden's largest company, which is insane when you think about it. Why am I talking so much about Sweden and Lovable? Because it is the best vibe coding thing in the world, but it also tells you why AI is so different. If you've ever done anything with startups, this is not normal. It's not normal that you launch a startup and you just make millions and hundreds of millions and billions of dollars in money like in no time and everyone's just throwing money at you. And I can tell you from my experience as a customer, I started, I bought the hundred dollar plan, did some stuff, burned through my credits and said, okay, fine. You want more money? Here's more money. I bought the $200 plan after like a day, burned through that. It was like, well, it's by the $500. Now I'm paying them a thousand bucks a month or a little more. And there's no end inside. I'm just going, I, I don't know how much I'm going to spend probably a lot. And I've never done this with anyone. Never. I've never been using a SaaS platform where I'm just dumping thousands of dollars every month into this thing without even blinking because I have 50 senior developers with them. It's the equivalent of having 50 or hundred senior developers that just do everything in real time for me. So this is the power of what is called intelligence. And this is just coding. Imagine you're a law firm, imagine you're a doctor and hospital, and all these things where you have these super sophisticated AIs now available and they're popping up and developing very quickly. All these applications are going to make everyone unemployed. I guarantee you that tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people in America and Europe will lose their jobs in the next three years. Hundreds of millions. I'm not even kidding. Like everyone. People, I don't know why people are so delusional. There will be massive and insane unemployment. And on the other side of the coin, if you're any kind of pioneer, entrepreneur, anyone who does anything, it will be paradise. You don't need to hire people anymore. You have to have very small numbers of people who are very intelligent, who handle all these AIs, and you can build anything in real time, anything. So I'm not going to go into the economics and the social implosion and the political unrest and everything that's coming. We are just talking about stocks and we are talking about the power of this stuff. 
so you understand why it's so powerful. Here's some more stuff. And why this is happening to NVIDIA, that it sits in the center of this whole thing. If you scroll all the way back up, this thing, this thing sits in the center, this thing sits in the center, but how do they get all the money? So often, Doomberg got it all wrong because this chart, what they're showing here is exactly not what's really happening. This is just the little engine at the core of the AI revolution. Surrounding that engine is a new layer of amazing startups and companies like Lovable who connect that circle here, that, you know, incestuous AI circle of chips and software and cloud providers. The startups embed and surround this and connect this super engine of humanity that's being built here with the entire economy, with every single startup person anything in the world, government, with anyone who wants to do anything, who wants to engineer any piece of reality. The startup layer is now surrounding that core engine and building the connective tissue into that super brain because this is what Doomberg doesn't understand. What they're picturing here is humanity's new super brain. That's why it makes money, this thing. And the super brain is now being connected to the rest of Earth and the rest of value creation. We are going into an insane age of AGI and it's happening as we speak. By 2025, which is now, by the conclusion of this year, the entire infrastructure will be laid for the greatest revolution we have ever seen in the history of humanity. And people sometimes forget, you're like the frogs being boiled. Oh, Joe, you're exaggerating, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm just not. It's exactly what's going to happen. And it's going to happen next year. And then it just goes exponential. Not all of it will be good. There will be pretty dramatic, extremely bad things happening very soon. But there will be even more super amazing things happening. That's why I also call it the age of chaos, not just the age of AGI. Because everything we know and assume will be thrown overboard. All the economic and political assumptions out of the window because base reality has just changed. Because of this super engine we are seeing here that Doomberg misinterprets as some incestuous circular investment scheme. That's stupid Doomberg. So that is, by the way, why we are founding and building Pioneerlands.net. We have nearly 4,000 people now on Pioneerlands. Very smart people, by the way, mostly Tesla investors, NVIDIA investors, people who are retail investors who want to understand this stuff, but who also understand it's not just about capital and investments, even though that's a very important part of the future. It's also about finding your crowd and your tribe in your city and locality, in Europe, in the US, in Australia, in Canada, all over the place. Who are the people who actually get it? These people you meet in Pioneerlands. It's free, by the way. I'm doing this for fun because I want to meet great people. I want to meet you guys. We are joining forces and I soon will publish a very cool roadmap. What we actually do there beyond, you know, understanding the markets better, which is a key thing. And it's going to be very exciting. So go to Pioneerlands.net. There you meet the smartest people talking about the most exciting and important things of our time, the age of AGI. So we understand these things better than anyone else. So I hope I gave you a little new perspective here. This is exciting times, but we better be on top of our game and are connected to smart people who use their brains. I want to hear from you guys too, because I learn a lot from you guys. You can write posts, you can write comments, go to Pinelands. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Don't believe anything Doomberg says, but you can take in the information and think about it. I hope that was helpful and see you very soon.